as we started out to, to develop Rico for the for the second time, we we wanted to keep the over the top style moves that we already had in the first game. It's a bit crazy, it's a bit unrealistic, but it's really fun and it looks very cool. Just cause two is it's not realistic. We don't want it to be realistic. It's more like the loss of physics on drugs. Really, really, really fast-paced action. You're using stuns to, to get around quickly. You're using stuns in combat pretty much all the time. You can jump from vehicle to vehicle. You can climb around on the vehicles. You can steal one of the vehicles, drive alongside one of the other chasing vehicles, jump up to the roof, shoot their tire off. Maybe plant C4 on their roof, then jump to another vehicle and set it off. And it's integrated with the combat system. So while you're climbing around on the vehicles, you can at the same time fire your weapons at your enemies. And of course you can use more creative ways as well. You can use the grappling hook, maybe tethering one of the guards inside the vehicle to its own vehicle, so it gets dragged along behind the vehicle. What happens if you tether the car to one of the statues that you pass along the way? I'm losing control! They've got me! I'm going down! In total there are over 100 different vehicles in the game. And each of those have uh, different handling characteristics. And they're suited for different situations and different ground materials. Let's say you're driving a sports car. That's not going to be good for crossing the desert, or it's not going to be easy to drive if you end up off-road. So if you want to cross the desert, you probably want an off-road vehicle. If you're driving on grass, you will feel one way. If you're driving on ice in the Arctic region, you will skid about rather much. And even the weather system is affecting this as well. So if it starts to rain, the tarmac on the roads will get a bit slippery and the grass will be even more slippery. We have a quite advanced real-time damage and deform system for the vehicles. So you're going to see parts flying up in real time, you're going to see it deform in real time. And that also influences handling. If you damage the engine, it's going to start to sound weird and go slower. You can of course blow tires and that's going to make it difficult to control. We want it to be over the top, we want it to be crazy, so you can do really, really stupid stuff here. You can drive faster, you can brake harder, you can accelerate faster than any real world car can. You know, Rico is a stunt junkie. That's what he does and that's what he does best.